Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's broken heart reading for the upcoming month. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the energy. In this portion of the message, we're going to look into how they view the challenge and the present energy, what their true intentions are moving forward, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. Moving forward, if it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to see? Virgo, I feel an energy of you knowing exactly what it is that you want and knowing a person that you could see in your future. However, I feel like this person has some options or keeping their options open, we'll say. I feel like this person is a very lighthearted type of an energy, okay? So they probably express a lot of emotions um, show affection a lot, but I definitely feel here an energy of one foot in, one foot out, okay, and we're going to get to this here in a minute, Virgo, we're going to clarify throughout the message, the energy surrounding you for this month, we have the four of wands, the two of pentacles, the empress energy, so I feel like you are making your mind up about a particular person in your life, and honestly, Virgo, I feel like the only thing that really holds you back from this connection is this person's energy, this person being in this confused state. Otherwise, I feel like you would have already chosen this person if it was up to you. Your person's energy here, Virgo, the Fool, the Seven of Cups, the Strength. This person is keeping their options open. That's the only way that I can explain this energy. And we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. But I feel like any new beginning that they present to you, anytime they come in and express any emotions to you, they're genuine. Okay. Their feelings are genuine. But I also feel here that they're not ready to commit. So a non-committal type of energy. This is causing a resistance between the two of you. This is what's challenging this. I feel here, Virgo, you feel as if you're being left behind. Like this person has forgotten about you or they're distant. So there has to be something going on. I honestly feel here, Virgo, that you try to exude a little bit too much control over the situation by maybe putting expectations on what the relationship should be. And I feel here this is kind of hindering the growth of this connection. There could be a lot of happiness. This could be a happy connection if you are more open now. This is not saying for those of you that are in a connection that your person is actually cheating on you and you have proof of that, that is not this reading, okay? I feel like this reading is channeling a person who is on the fence about moving forward. So let's clarify. Let's clarify and see for you, Virgo. If you find the messages helpful resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, with the Empress energy for Virgo spirit, what does Virgo need to know in regards to this energy? A 
Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So I do feel like you have your guard up. You're trying to look at the situation very practically. I also feel here with this Page of Pentacles, this is just a strategic type of energy, a strategic card. I feel like you're trying to be strategic when putting this together, when making this work. Okay, so maybe you're mm, withholding how you truly feel at certain times in order to keep this person around or get this person's attention, which is okay. But I also feel like there that's also kind of, it's not being honest with yourself or this person. You definitely need to let this person know how you truly feel, okay? This is only going to cause more hindrance in the future. So Virgo, there is an intense connection here between you and your person, but I definitely feel like there's more of a healing type of an energy that there's some things that they need to close out in their past or maybe this is emotionally before they're going to be ready for anything more than this surface level connection, okay? Keeping things on a sexual type of level, not getting too deep. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the hindrance to the happiness. Mm, Virgo. And this is exactly how I, this is exactly what I was getting at. So by trying to hold, withhold your emotions or hold back on how you truly feel about this person keeping their options open, okay? Because here how I see, here's how I see this playing out. You want a stable, solid, long-term commitment, that happy life, happy home, you know, your person is unsure what they want and I feel like they're not ready for a long-term commitment for whatever reason some of you they may have just got out of a long-term commitment and they're trying to enjoy their single life right now um, some of you this person is traveling a lot don't have I feel like they don't have they feel like they don't have space in their life for a relationship for whatever reason. Now, you have to ask yourself, do you want this certain type of relationship that you've envisioned for your future? Or do you want this particular person in your life? Which is more important? I honestly feel if you're, if you're very honest with yourself, Virgo, you're going to come to terms that this is not serving you. That this isn't what you really want. This isn't what you envisioned. And you may have to let this go. So let's dive a little bit deeper here into your person's energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Let's take a look at how they're viewing the challenge here. In this energy for Virgo's person, spirit, please and thank you. How is Virgo's person viewing the challenge in this present energy? They don't want this to end. The death energy with the three of swords. So they don't want this to end, Virgo. But they're also, again, not ready. It's that flighty type of, this is that in and out, back and forth, friends with benefits type of energy. They're not ready for a long-term connection. Now, will they be ready when you walk away? It's going to be different for each individual person. Some of you, this person is going to come forward and be ready for a long-term commitment. Some of you, they're not. That's something that you may have to come to terms with. 
So what's their true intentions here moving forward for Virgo in this energy? Virgo and Virgo's person. What is Virgo's person's true intentions? going to be a conversation about the intensity of this connection what that means to each of you some of you this could be a twin flame connection okay um and this is somebody who you're not going to easily be able to walk away from so even if you separate in this energy it's very likely that this person will come back around you have the lovers and the two of cups on the bottom of the deck as their true intentions moving forward. I feel like this person does want to come forward and communicate with you, but they don't know how to approach you in this energy, Virgo. They don't know what to say or, or how to bring this up. So what's hidden here? In this energy for Virgo spirit, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely causing delays, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's also causing a lot of heavy energy here. The strength tells me there's an, a need for acceptance between the two of you. So what's it going to be? Because this back and forth energy is becoming disruptive. So really coming to terms with do I want to still try with this person or do I want to see if there's something that's better in better alignment? So where is this headed here for Virgo and this person in this energy spirit? Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like the energy isn't shifting. Okay. You're being called to trust your intuition in the present energy. So if you feel like it's nothing's changed, then nothing is going to change. Okay, that's the definition of insanity is to do the same thing and expect a different result. I do feel here, Virgo, an energy of mm, trying to figure this out, I'm trying to overthink this too intensely. And what I would say to that is try to put this out of your mind. If you need to do a brain dump, write about this, journal about this in a journal to get this off of your mind, I would recommend that. But I feel like this is taking your focus off of other things and it's starting to complicate other areas of your life. So definitely, definitely a need to be mindful. A mindful of that energy, Virgo. So let's pull a few cards for advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the energy. We're going to see what your person would like to say. We'll tap into the other influences. Can it be saved? Is it worth it? I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. The outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. We have the five of wands in the reverse, the four of wands. Then we have the chariot with the two of cups. So Virgo... I feel like the sooner you're able to put this out of your mind and let go of this conflict, okay, let go of this conflicted energy, okay, being up in your head about the direction, the path that this person is going to take and focus more on your, what you need in order to bring this together to make this connection work, okay? I do feel like you are headed in a positive direction. There is going to be an intense conversation in regards to this connection. So both of you coming together, making this work, 
um, how you guys feel about one another, how intensely you feel the connection. All of those things are going to be discussed, okay? So prepare. This can go one of two ways, right? You guys can separate. You guys could walk away from one another. You guys could also reconcile, okay? There is a possibility for reconciliation. It's going to depend on you, Argo. If you're able to let this conflict go and if you're able to communicate your needs in a way to not push this person away. So Virgo, your romance angel cards coming out. We have this could be the one. And release your ex. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Virgo, thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.